What began as a short test flight to the International Space Station for two NASA astronauts on board Boeing Starliner spacecraft has turned into an unexpected and extended mission. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who were supposed to spend just eight days on the ISS, now face an indefinite stay due to technical difficulties with their spacecraft, nicknamed Calypso. In a recent call with journalists, the two astronauts shared their exciting and nerve-wracking experience aboard Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Their mission, meant to be the final test before regular astronaut missions, has turned into a journey filled with unexpected problems and quick thinking. Boeing Starliner, also known as the CST-100 Starliner, is a spacecraft created by Boeing for NASA's commercial crew program. It's designed to carry astronauts and cargo to the ISS. The Starliner can hold up to seven astronauts or a mix of crew and cargo, making it versatile for two different missions. One of the standout features of the Starliner is its reusability. It can be used for up to 10 missions with just a six-month turnaround between flights, which makes it cost-effective and sustainable. The spacecraft is compatible with several launch vehicles, such as the Atlas V, Delta IV, and Falcon 9. Thanks to its autonomous flight capabilities, the Starliner can fly independently and allow the crew to take manual control if necessary. For landing, it uses parachutes and airbags to touch down on solid ground, making it easier and faster to access the spacecraft after missions. The development of the Starliner is part of NASA's broader effort to ensure safe, reliable, and cost-effective transportation to and from the ISS. In 2014, NASA selected SpaceX and Boeing to develop spacecraft for this mission. SpaceX was tasked with developing the Crew Dragon, while Boeing worked on the Starliner. NASA awarded Boeing $4.2 billion and SpaceX $2.6 billion. The funding discrepancy was partly due to Boeing's arguments about SpaceX's reliability. SpaceX's Crew Dragon quickly made significant strides. By March 2019, the Crew Dragon completed its first uncrewed flight to the ISS demonstrating its ability to dock and return to Earth. This success was followed by the Demo-2 mission in May 2020, which marked the first crewed flight of Crew Dragon, safely transporting two astronauts to the ISS and back. Since then, Crew Dragon has become a reliable means of transportation for NASA astronauts, consistently performing missions to and from the ISS. In contrast, things haven't been smooth for Boeing Starliner. The first major test, the uncrewed orbital flight test, in December 2019 encountered issues. Although the Starliner launched successfully, a software problem prevented it from reaching the ISS, cutting the mission short. In 2022, Boeing attempted a second uncrewed flight test, which was successful. The Starliner completed its mission to the ISS, docking and returning to Earth without significant issues. After a successful uncrewed mission, it was time for Boeing Starliner to carry astronauts to the ISS. If this crewed mission went smoothly, Starliner would be approved for regular flights to the ISS. The crew flight test was initially set for May 6, 2024. However, a problem with an oxygen valve on the ULA Atlas rocket led to the launch being canceled just two hours before the scheduled time. Additionally, a helium leak in the Starliner service module discovered during the May 6th attempt, caused further delays. A subsequent launch attempt on June 1st was also aborted just three minutes and 50 seconds before liftoff. Starliner successfully completed its countdown and launched on June 5th. Originally, it was scheduled to undock from the ISS and return to Earth on June 14th. However, things didn't go as planned. In a candid conversation with journalists, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams shared their gripping experience aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Wilmore described that the mission began with an awe-inspiring launch. He said that the launch was spectacular and truly amazing. As the rocket roared through the atmosphere, the astronauts felt the intense pressure of acceleration before the relief of microgravity enveloped them when Starliner reached orbit. The initial moments in space were marked by thorough checks of the spacecraft's operational capabilities. Wilmore said it performed unbelievably well, 
noting that he was tempted to give the spacecraft a rare rating of 1 on the astronaut scale of 1 to 10 for spacecraft handling qualities. Uh, launch was spectacular, I mean truly amazing, and then we got into our operational capabilities checks and the, the spacecraft performed unbelievably well. We have these things called uh, Hooper Carper's rating scale, 1 to 10, 1 being the best, uh, 10 being the worst. I've never given a 10 in all my flight test year, excuse me, a 1 in all my flight test years uh, on a Hooper Carper rating scale for handling qualities, but I was tempted. That's how precise this spacecraft controlled in all aspects of the various tests we did. I won't go into those details of what the tests were, but it was truly amazing the precision that this spacecraft held. However, the mission's smooth course took a drastic turn on the second day. As they approached the ISS, one of the Starliner's 28 Reaction Control System, or RCS thrusters, unexpectedly shut down. Followed by another, the astronauts were forced to take manual control for over an hour while ground teams scrambled to troubleshoot the issue. Ultimately, five RCS thrusters shut down. Though some thrusters were restored, the spacecraft's thrust remained degraded. Despite these challenges, Starliner managed to dock with the ISS with remarkable precision, even in automatic mode. The astronauts' experience highlighted significant issues with the Starliner, prompting NASA to conduct further investigations. Engineers discovered five leaks in the spacecraft's helium supply, which pressurizes its propulsion system. These leaks and thruster failures are now the focus of extensive testing at NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico. NASA's priority is to ensure the return trip will be safe. Engineers are working to replicate the unexpected issues that arose mid-flight and ensure the thrusters perform reliably on the return journey. In the meantime, Will Moore and Williams are busy with experiments and station maintenance aboard the ISS. NASA officials maintain that Starliner remains cleared for return in case of emergency on the space station. The well-provisioned ISS can accommodate Wilmore and Williams' extended stay, but the clock is ticking on Clipso's certification limit. Starliner is designed for six-month stays at the ISS, but Calypso is only certified to dock for 45 days on this first crewed flight. Without recertification, the spacecraft could only remain docked until July 20th. Various backup systems might extend this period to 72 days if necessary. In spaceflight forums and on social media, some have speculated if Starliner proves unable to return to Earth, a rescue mission could be mounted via SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Although this scenario seems far-fetched, and even NASA has stated that there's no plan to use SpaceX's Crew Dragon to rescue the Starliner astronauts, it highlights the irony of Boeing's current predicament. Both companies were tasked with building reliable spacecraft for NASA. Yet, SpaceX's Crew Dragon, awarded a lesser share, has outpaced Starliner in performance and reliability. Starliner has already cost Boeing around $1.5 billion. Boeing's Starliner story highlights the importance of thorough testing and the resilience of astronauts and engineers. As the investigation into Starliner's issues continues, the dedication of NASA and Boeing to solve these problems and ensuring the safety and success of future missions remains strong. Recently, astronomers discovered a record-breaking black hole in our galaxy, lurking surprisingly close to us. If you missed this episode, be sure to catch up on the exciting discovery. Thanks for watching, and to get regular space updates, make sure to subscribe to our channel.